Hi guys, my name is Brian Lenny of Junior Shocker Group Premium. And today with me, I have CEO of Aubrey Silver, John Miniotis. And John, I think the best place to start is an intro on the company. Sure, thanks Thanks very much, Brian. Aubrey Silver is an advanced stage exploration company. Uh, our key asset is called Diablilos. It's in the mining friendly province of Salta in Argentina. Uh, it's quite an advanced stage project. So this project has had over 120,000 meters of drilling throughout uh, a number of years. Uh, and we're sitting on a large measured and indicated resource, uh, totaling about 110 million ounces of silver, 1.3 million ounces of gold, and that's entirely in the measured and indicated category. Now, importantly, we also have a brand new discovery located a few hundred meters to the southwest of that, that key zone. Uh, and that's what's really gotten our attention here uh, recently. We have both drill rigs focused on drilling that. We've hit some, some phenomenal high-grade intercepts here. Uh, and the plan for this year is to continue to drill that and move the project forward. Excellent. Um, you know, I think one of the first things that comes to mind, you mentioned it in the intro, uh, you guys are located in Salt in Argentina. And I think a lot of investors here in Argentina and think, ooh. Sure. And, you know, there's some reasons why. But I think if you could highlight for us why being in Salta or even San Juan is so important and what's going on in those two provinces sure. that make you comfortable with with being there. Sure. So, so importantly, I mean, Argentina is a, a federal uh, country. And so each province owns the mineral rights. And so when you're dealing uh, in terms of mine permitting, et cetera, in Argentina, <clears throat> you're dealing exclusively with the province. And so for us, being in Salta, Salta is now widely recognized as, as being a hotbed for mining investment activity. Uh, within the past few years alone, uh, there's you know, well over uh, several billion dollars worth of mining construction uh, that's commenced, uh, especially right around us. So around Diablos, we're surrounded by, by lithium projects, several large-scale lithium projects. Those have all gone ahead. Those are being built as we speak uh, and will be completed uh, construction within the next few years here. And so SALT has been able to attract significant investment dollars and that you know, improves the infrastructure first off in the region, which is very important as well, uh, and then gives investors a lot more ease. I mean, if we were the only company trying to advance a project in SALTA, you know, uh, there'd be a lot more hurdles. Yeah. Whereas now having other, also other gold projects that have been built in Salta and especially uh, lots of lithium projects uh, having been built or being built as we speak, uh, really sets, sets a precedent. And investors are, are you know, uh, very aware that this is a, a mining friendly province. Permitting is, is quite straightforward. Um, and, you know, uh, these mines are, are advancing. Great points, you know, and, and that's that's a big deal. The flow of cash into the country in those specific provinces, definitely as an investor, that's what I look for. It makes me comfortable with the situation. And really your share price performance over the last couple of years um, has been phenomenal. And that means that the market is recognizing you for the value, even though maybe right now it's not, sure. but that's sure. the opportunity. Um, so you also mentioned your discovery uh, that you made last year and, and you're continuing on, on drilling right now. Can you take us through that? Yeah. Yeah, so this is still part of the same project here. And so this is part of the Diablos project. Historically, all of the drilling at this project has been focused on one key zone called the Oculto deposit. And that's where we have that large resource I mentioned. Um, but we ran some, some geophysics across the broader property uh, and came up with this big mag anomaly uh, that we you know, had never had any drilling done historically. And so last year, uh, we drilled a single hole there, announced that back in August, uh, 2022. Uh, and that hole returned, I think it was 380 grams of, of silver close to surface over a broad intercept, like 80, 80 plus meters. Yeah. And so phenomenal, phenomenal uh, intercept there. Uh, and so then we immediately started drilling right around that discovery hole in all directions, 50 meters around that discovery hole. Uh, all four of those holes came back with very high grades. And so we pulled the two rigs off of Kulto, uh, moved them 500 meters uh, down to the southwest here in this new jack zone. Uh, we've drilled now, I think it's well over 50 holes, uh, 34 of them have been announced. We have 16 at the lab uh, as of today. Um, and all 34 that we've announced have hit high grade silver mineralization close to surface. So we, we couldn't be any more excited about this brand new zone. Uh, you know, we continue to drill there. Uh, we just recently announced that we're expanding the size of our exploration program as well, uh, taking that to 22,000 meters. Uh, so we'll have a maiden resource on this brand new discovery by September. Mm -hmm. So within 12 months from the initial discovery hole to a maiden resource. 
And then that's going to get incorporated into a pre-feasibility study for the entire project, right. which will consist of the Oculto uh, pit plus this, this new Jack target as well. That's excellent. And really for the investors that are watching, um, I think this is what you need to pay attention to with this next year is so important to the story. You know, the addition of this, this new discovery into the economic case for Dublilos as a project, um, I think has the potential to be, have a huge impact. And, you know, obviously is the reason why you're, you're, you've delayed the PFS to the end of the year so you can incorporate that in and get the economic, potential economic benefit of it being in there. Um, so next to uh, Dublilos, you have another project where you've made another discovery. That's right. And in, in other companies, this would have been, you know, a company maker, I think, in and itself. We've seen sure. the performance across the market. But take us through Lacopita and what's going on there. Sure, sure. So this is in a different project, uh, different province. This is in the San Juan province. Again, having lots of mining, sort of a resurgence of mining exploration activity in that province as well. Uh, and it's along the big copper uh, porphyry belt there. And so, you know, there, there's several billion ton plus porphyries along this belt. Uh, we consolidated two years ago, a massive land position. So 70,000 hectares of land. So this is a, a huge land position uh, that we picked up uh, on the cheap uh, option agreements on that. Uh, we drilled two holes on this big property uh, just last year. Uh, the second hole, it's 700 meters of mineralization. And the, the target here is a large scale porphyry. Uh, we had 700 meters of mineralization, about 250 meters of that was over 0.4% copper equivalent. So, so decent grades there. Um, and so, you know, after reviewing that in detail, we decided, look, we're going to drill an even deeper hole because that hole ended in mineralization at 1.2 kilometers depth. We're going to drill an even deeper hole. Uh, so right now we're in the middle of drilling a 1.4 kilometer deep hole. Uh, we're hoping to drill a monster here. <laughs> and then that's going to be, again, a, a company maker, right. uh, you know, a, a copper asset that, that we'll have within our portfolio and gives us lots of optionality. Do we then bring in a partner? Do we sell it? Do we spin it off to shareholders? Right. All of that will be decided. Oh, excellent stuff. Okay, guys. So you've got you've got the underlying value in the asset uh, that's supported by you know the existing PEA and what's going to come out uh, from the Jack Zone in that new PFS later this year in Q4. And then you also have the second project, Lacopita in San Juan, um, that has all the hallmarks of, of the new copper discovery. And you know, in it itself, gives the company a, a number of options and how it can benefit its shareholders. Um, I think Aversilver is well worth. Uh, a look at, they're cashed up and ready to go. Thank you very much.